Hey guys, Wages World coming at you. What is crack a lacking? This is going to be a short little uploaded video. I'm not going to do a live stream tonight because this shouldn't take me very long. Um, but yeah. So, we've had another eruption and the radiation storm is winding down. What do we got here? This is the radiation storm. It's an increase in protons. I talked about this yesterday. So, go back and watch that little bit of my live stream yesterday if you want to know a little bit more about this. Now, the only people that were really affected by an S2 radiation storm are people that fly higher towards the poles. That's cabin crew, that's um, pilots, pregnant women. They highly discourage them to fly in a flight path that takes them up towards the poles in any certain way. It's essentially like taking an x-ray, and, and that's not good for the health of the baby. They only let pilots and cabin crew fly a certain amount of hours each year in these conditions for that very reason. But we had that eruption, right? We had a flare, then a CME, and then another flare, and the protons, the radiation storm, which is the protons, got here pretty quick. Got here in like an hour. They typically take between 20 minutes on the fast end to a few hours, right? Protons have mass. It's not like x-ray up here, okay? X-ray, the flare part, is here in eight minutes. Gets here quick. Then the geomagnetic activity is the actual eruption of plasma, that would hit with the CME, and that takes even longer. That takes days. Um, the only time it's not taking days is when we're talking about an extremely powerful storm that's going to be giving us like G4, G5 type of uh, conditions, which is we would definitely see electrical issues with that. Um, not necessarily grid down, just depends on how you know how hard it would hit. But um, but I do want to show you know guys we did have this, and then I do want to show you guys. Uh, this eruption this is uh this is the new eruption i'm waiting on data okay i'm not going to come on here and say anything that i think exactly what's happening i'm going to give you my opinion is what's going to happen um because i don't have enough data to like be definitive here okay um so what you're looking at is another eruption on the sun this is a black occulter disc it might not even be black i'm not even sure what color it is because um, it's black on this and it's red over here i'm not sure what it, the actual physical color it doesn't matter this is a disc that's a physical disc on the camera. It's blocking the main light of the sun so it can even, you know, so it doesn't blind the camera. So when we talk about a halo signature, which is, again, it's just a term that we use, it is this haze. You see this kind of haze that pokes around the full area diameter of this occulter disc. So if I back that up, you can kind of see what I'm talking about here, right? Now, I don't think this one's coming right at us, but it may have an Earth-directed component. And if it's not Earth-directed, you know what that means? That means it's actually going off the backside. Um, so when you see the halo signature, that means it's either coming right at you or it's going out the backside. Now, we don't have Stereo A over here on the side anymore. We had another satellite used to hang out over here, but it's actually hanging out next to Earth. And it gives us the same point of view as this one now. This is Soho, and it's about a million miles closer to the sun than what we are. Um, but it is from our perspective, and it stays with us as we orbit the sun. So when we see this, we don't have stereo anymore to kind of confirm the direction it's actually, the CME itself is actually traveling, okay? And um, there's other ways to figure it out. Um, they're, they're a little bit more complicated, but... And I'm not going to get into all that, but I'm still waiting on some data to come in to give you guys a definitive whether or not I think any of this could be hitting us. At this point, I'm inclined to say probably not. Um, but, I, again, I could be wrong. Um, you know, yesterday I came out and I told you guys that my opinion had changed because of, you know, we're supposed to get a glancing blow. And even the first day when I talked about that bigger eruption, which actually we can take a look at that real quick as I'm talking about it. Um back here that's stereo a okay you see this see how it's all jacked up and stuff it's really hard to understand what you're looking at here well that's because it's hanging around earth and if they send it back out i think they're going to fix that but i'm not sure if they're going to send it back out or not it's outlived its life lifespan guys unfortunately but there's the here's the eruption and then the the radiation storm that follows watch the, the snow see the snow that's what i showed you guys yesterday now, it did look like we could be getting a glancing blow or even a side hit from it by looking at the NASA model. Well, the NOAA model came in, and when the NOAA model showed, it showed us maybe a glancing blow. So the models weren't quite agreeing. 
Now NASA only shows you one at a time. NOAA will actually show you what's going on. The whole, you know, what however many CMEs are coming, it's going to show you that, right? Um, and that's this model right here. So it's two days behind us, five days out in advance, or five days out in front of us forecasting. So we know what happened two days behind us. That's actual data. That's historic data. That's what's in there, right? So they don't really say anything's happening right now, but they also, this may not have updated enough for this to be in that in that model run, okay? Um, I don't think that it is. I don't think it's in that model run. This is the big one. I'm sorry, it's the wrong date. Let me go back here and give you the one that, that blew off today. Um, now, we did have two satellites react at the same time. And what I'm saying here, that this is uh, SOHO, the one that's many miles closer to the sun. But if we go over here, you know, if we look at what time this, this showed up, first thing we have to take into consideration is this is not the surface of the sun. This white circle is more representative of what where the surface of the sun is. So there's some distance between there and when we first see the CME on this imaging. Okay? So there's some time that passes there. So we have to keep that in mind. So if you look at this, the first image was like at 1800 or close to 20. That would be roughly between 6 and 8 uh, UTC time, PM. Okay? And you can... Subtract four from that, and that would be what the time would be on the East Coast, okay? But they use UTC, so the world doesn't get all confused. They can all use the same time, and then, you know, all the scientists can communicate correctly. That's why they do that. Um, so, anyway, this did produce somewhat of a halo signature. It's poking around, right? So, it's either coming right at us, or it's going right off the back. That's the only conclusion you can have with that, and I'm just not confident enough to tell you one way or the other here okay let's wait no more data so we also have this coronal hole that's what's going to be hitting within what we call the uh, earth strike zone it's an imaginary box here in the middle of the sun as things rotate through that means it's right in front of the earth so if anything's happening right in front of us on the sun typically it will affect us okay so the surface of the sun is colder than its atmosphere so when we get a coronal hole that atmosphere peels back and it exposes the surface of the sun. What's that do? Well, it allows plasma to just escape. And it gets here on a magnetic connection line. So that's how it gets here. That's solar wind. And that can give us geomagnetic storms. It can add to current hits that we're taking. Um, a whole lot of things can happen. And I'm not going to get into a whole lot of that. But check this out. I'm going to show you guys this. See how it bumps like that? See how it kind of um right there that was when that see this is a this is a totally different satellite than this one okay so that happened right around like i said 20 20 hundred hours okay maybe a little bit before like at 18 maybe um but this satellite right here is a million miles closer to the sun than what this one is okay and this one jolted at the same time as we had that eruption. So what's that mean? Well, I just think maybe we may have had a little jolt there, a little yank. That's it. That's all that, that means. But it does, it's just interesting. It's the only reason why I'm showing it to you. It means probably pretty much a whole lot of nothing. But um, I am seeing kind of a, a haze here. Um, that could be like a stealth CME that could be coming at us. I'm not sure. Um, I doubt it. I very seriously doubt that. But it does. there is a little bit of a disruption there. And it's in there, strike zone. So if there was a stealth CME, um, that would be coming at us. But I don't, I don't think it is. It's just my opinion. So, but anyway, um, with that being said, guys, I am going to go ahead and end it here. Um, when I get more data, I'll come back on tomorrow. I'll be doing a live stream with you guys tomorrow. But I want to make sure I touch base with you today and let you guys know what was happening. Um, with that being said, guys, God bless. Yahusha saves, and you can drink this Kool-Aid.